the 54th National Congress of Cardiology in Sinaia, Romania, surrounded by leading cardiologists in the country. Joining us is Professor Dragos Venerinu. Professor Venerinu is a cardiologist specialized in ultrasound imaging and interventional cardiology, working at the University and Emergency Hospital of Bucharest. He is the vice rector responsible with research of the University of Medicine and Pharmacy Carol de Villa in Bucharest fellow of the European Society of Cardiology and president-elect of the Romanian Society of Cardiology. Throughout his career, he coordinated multiple research projects and published more than 100 papers. Today, he has agreed to share some of this experience. It's difficult to say. It's probably the main reason for doing cardiology was that in in the university, in the faculty, uh, I enjoyed very much the, the anatomy, the physiology, the pathology, and uh, thereafter the pharmacology of the heart diseases. Uh, however, when I was in the second year of the university, my father had a myocardial infarction. And because of this, I was with him in the hospital and I was attracted by the cardiology and by what cardiology means. And probably these are the main two reasons for deciding to do cardiology when I graduated. Probably the reimbursement <laughs> from the state because, as you probably know, the salaries for junior staff in the hospitals is extremely poor and they are still relying a lot on the money coming from the family. They are not allowed to do private practice, they are not allowed to work in other places such as pharmaceutical industry because they do not have time to do it during their training in different specialties and mainly in cardiology. And they are doing a lot of on-calls and they are full with different professional and research jobs they need to, to, to do during their training in cardiology. So I think it's very difficult for young cardiologists to survive now in, in, in this environment in Romania and also we are trying to improve this, we are trying to facilitate the training, we are trying to improve the research skills. A lot should be done by the government in order to improve the quality of life if you want. As you know, this is extremely important and I supported the use of this kind of platforms for the university staff. And for this reason, we improved in our libraries these kind of platforms in order to have access to all the facilities for documentation to give a background to the young researchers and to the physicians not only for research, but also for the best professional activity, for the best routine clinical practice. To train in all fields of cardiology, because it's important to know a little bit of everything. Even if you do not want to do interventional cardiology or electrophysiology, you should know about it and you should go into the cat lab, you should go into the electrophysiology lab, you should put your hand on the patient, do some procedures yourself, and then you can decide which is the best specialty in cardiology which fits you the best. Uh, and the second advice would be to do a little piece of research during the training period. Because without research, without being in the middle of what is happening in the world in terms of research, in clinical trials or in small pieces of research, doesn't matter too much. You have to be there. If you don't publish, you are not in the real world of cardiology now. So they should try to start to do research 
maybe they should try to, to, to publish a little bit, maybe not in very high impact factor journals, but in small journals at the beginning, case report, starting with some case report or series of cases, and then going to, to, to more elaborated original papers. Mm -hmm.